In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to export an image sequence from Flash. Okay, so in my scene, I've got a pretty simple animation of a ball bouncing up and down. And I've got 50 frames, which I want to export as an image sequence. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to go to File and then Export. Now, this is where it gets slightly confusing. So you might assume because you're exporting an image sequence, you have to go to Export Image. This will actually only allow you to export a single image. So what you have to do is you have to go to Export Movie. So it's a little bit confusing, but just remember that you are exporting uh, a movie um, in a sequence, I guess you could say. Okay, so then it'll go to your desired file path. I'm just going to put it to my documents, but my main tip here would be to always make a new folder to put your image sequence on. So for example, if you're doing an image sequence which has 500 images, you don't want to have 500 images cluttering up your documents folder, do you? So I'm just going to go and make a new folder, just call it sequence, sequence test, and then for my actual file name, I'm just going to call it ball. Okay, and then you get a choice down here of the format you actually want to export it as. So you do get your typical stuff such as Shockwave Movie and QuickTime, but we actually want to focus on images this time. So you get a choice of Animated GIF, JPEG, GIF, and PNG. So I would always recommend using the PNG sequence for your file type. And this is because PNG allows you to export your images with an alpha channel. And this is often very important, especially if you're going to be comping uh, your image sequence later on. So I'm going to pick PNG. So that's all set. So all we have to do is press save. And now we get a few more options, and these are more technical, basically to do with resolution and different colors. So I'm going to keep my resolution the same as my stage, which is 720p. And I'm going to include my full document size. You can do minimum image area, which basically just cuts out everything which isn't part of your animation. So it'll cut out the sides here, but I'm just going to do uh, full document size so it's full frame. And then over here, like I mentioned before, you do get the choice of applying an alpha channel, which I do want to have. If not, just pick 24 bit. And then you do get a choice of filter and these options, but I usually just leave it like this with just smooth ticked. Okay, so if you just press OK here, it will start exporting your image sequence. And I'm doing a relatively small image sequence of 50, so it's actually going to take quite a, a short amount of time. And I've noticed in general, Flash tends to export images quite quickly anyway. OK, so now I'm just going to open up After Effects. I'm just going to import my image sequence. So I've got my test sequence here. I've got all my frames all lined up here, my file. So I'll pop that on here, do a quick RAM preview of this. All right, so we can see that the quality is really good. I'm actually zoomed out, so it's not actually full resolution, but you can tell the quality is nice and crisp anyway. And as you can see, importantly here, we have an alpha channel because it's on a black background. So the alpha channel has worked great. So if I wanted to comp this on later, I could layer it up with different backgrounds or different elements and it would work great. All right, so I hope this tutorial has helped. And as always, if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, please subscribe.